first of all, I would like to advise those who want to get married that they should not rush into marriage. That's the problem with children of today. They love each other today, and the next week they are, they are married. Such kinds of marriage easily break, you know. It has to be something that stays for a few years. For instance, we got married after, I think it was after 10 years. Mm. Yes. Yeah. So we, <clears throat> it helped us to stay together. And we, you also will have known each other, characters and so on. And uh, what I would advise those who get married today, it shouldn't be simple for people to just divorce, especially if you have had children. Uh, if you divorce, whose children are those going to be? Because if the father says, well, they go with the mother, Definitely those children will have no father because the stepfather is not their best father. So it's better to, to stay together. Problems are there in life. You cannot get any marriage that is no problem. Problems are there and we have to try and solve them. There's not even one marriage that is no problem. We stay with the problems in life. As long as the devil is there, problems will be there. And so you cannot say, I want my marriage to be problem-free. No, we cannot do that. Uh, what I can say is that that's a difficult subject you are talking about. Nobody can say that's a very easy thing you can you can ride over it with, with ease. There are hiccups here and there, there are ups and downs in every marriage. But the only thing I can say to people is that, you see, many people, I was saying this yesterday to some people, is that most of our problems today come only because we have decided to get hold of God, wrap him up in a, in a sack, open the window, open the window, and throw him outside. And we thought that we can manage our own things all by ourselves. That's not possible. Things work out only if God is here. That's what David will tell us in, his, in the book of Psalms. That's what many other writers in the, in the Bible will tell us. God is still there. He is still our, our source of uh, uh, our source of, of, of life. Anybody, any marriage that throws God out of the window will definitely end up in shambles, in a shambles. Let us all know that God is there. Learn to talk, communicate between yourselves, and don't hesitate. Don't think it difficult to laugh. Many people do not want to laugh. Laughing is a medicine that will make things work. But in most marriages, that's a forgotten word. That's a forgotten exercise. Laughing and even playing, you know, when people get older, playing becomes a little difficult. You know, I remember when we were young, she would be walking along the aisle here and I would, you know, walk very stealthily behind her, just pick up her dresses and put them over her head and I would run away and laugh. Those things are necessary in a, in a marriage. If you're going to think things are just, uh, uh, marriage is just, uh, you know, something that will work out itself out, you are mistaken. Joys come when people laugh and play and getting and get uh, laugh and play and get the rightful friends that will be uh, you know 
helpful all the time. Not just anybody, just people uh, who are going to be helpful to you. Um, Pastor A.V. Edwards was at Solusi. He taught us Bible knowledge when we were young. And what he used to say was, get God-fearing parents to advise you. Not just anybody. Many people will try to play the game and think they know, but it's God-fearing parents. We have had many people suffer because they get advice from people who don't fear God. Marriages will work only if you have people who are God-fearing. I wish people could learn that. 